So we wanted to go to Sinsian for breakfast but there's like a massive queue so we're going to see what else we can find. We always go for the combination mandu, um, which is enough for two people and it's only 8,000 which is like 5 pounds. The dumplings are really good. Uh, <laughs> so we've got the regular pork filled dumplings which are really good. The kimchi, so it's like a spicy version of this one. It's got kimchi in. The ones without the mandu wrappers and then the wang mandu which are deep fried and they've got glass noodles in. These are my favourite. They're really good. Got some kimchi and some anchovy broth as well to go with it. So this should tart us over for brunch. Yeah. things for breakfast and now we're heading over to Hongde um, and have a look around. As you can see it's super sunny again so we're really lucky with the weather. I think they were saying it's abnormally mild for this time of year because I remember when we were living in Seoul last year it was like 5 degrees but I think today it's like 24 degrees so it's gone a bit dark. Um, so yeah we're just gonna hop on the tube and head to Hongde. A few last things that I need to get um, but I pretty much got most of what I need. I don't know how I'm going to take it back with me, but don't worry about that tonight. I hope you see my favorite snack. Um, but they have these things, they're manjuhana, and they're filled with like custard, and it's like a sweet bread, and they're amazing. Um, yeah, I think we get 15. Yay, we got So there's like 15 of these snacky things for 3001, which is about a pound 50. But they're so good. They're really nice when they're warm and freshly made. So she gave me one that <laughs> she just cooked. So yeah. So we're paying a visit to my adoption agency, an orphanage. I actually looked shut, um, but I hadn't made an appointment or anything. Um, I normally just come in here and either get an update on my birth family search or last year when I was here, I was volunteering at the orphanage here. So I wanted to check up and see how the babies I was looking afterwards uh, after were doing. Um, but it seems to be shut. I decided this time that I didn't want to volunteer. Um, I found it quite emotional last year doing it and in all honesty when I left Korea um, it didn't end on very good terms with Eastern because they refused to give me um, copies of my file um, which legally I'm allowed to. So it ended a bit bitter. Um, I was going to try again to see if I could get copies of it but having spoken to other adopted friends they, they said that they're still trying to get them as well. So, um, so it's proving a bit of a challenge but I'm not too bothered. I think we'll still have a nice day and walk around one day and I think when we come back next year then I'll try again and maybe I'll be kind of more mentally in a better place to volunteer but when I come to Korea I don't want to put too much pressure on myself to do these things because I never know how I'm going to feel when I get here um, and we've had a really successful trip but I've really enjoyed it so I didn't want to end it on um, I don't know a bit of an emotional or sad note but we're in Coco Brini which is one of our favorite cafes they have really nice cakes and really nice coffee and actually we had our first business meeting here Steve and I when we first decided that we wanted to set up Beauty and Soul so we we're just joking how yeah last time we were here we were discussing what brands that we wanted to approach and yeah it was like we've come full circle so yeah we're just gonna stop here for a cake and a coffee they all look so good so these are the little cake things that I got earlier in the subway station they smell amazing but I'll never buy in as you can see it's basically like a sweet cake bread and then it's filled with like creamy custard but I can literally go through a bag of 15 of these in like 10 minutes they're just so good and it's like a really light like sponge cake almost
So I'm just on my way to the Solasso uh, flagship store because I'm going to get a facial with Charlotte. So we're just filling out the counselling card now. We've been offered our welcome drink, which tastes very ginsengy and sort of so like. <laughs> and Charlotte, I've just been eyeing up all the nice products. Want, want, want. <laughs> Guys, even the pen is really nice. We're a bit gutted that it wasn't a sort of so pen though. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have nicked it. cubicle now getting ready so I have products body serum I need to change into this gown and then I will be having a ginseng foot spa and my facial so I just finished the treatment and my skin feels amazing um, it's so worth the money it's definitely the nicest facial I've ever had but you also got um, an arm neck and scalp massage with it as well so so if I sleep, you had a sheet mask and you also had a modeling mask as well and they did like a scrub and everything else. So um, yeah, my skin's feeling pretty good. So I just got out of the treatment and we've got given a drink and little cakes and cookies and cold chai. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> oh, it's the perfume. The perfume is so nice. This is Solar Soul Through the Ages, 1973, 1981, 1997, and the present day. So, just finished at Solar Soul Spa, and I'm about to meet Steve for dinner. Um, it's pretty late. The treatment said it was only going to be an hour, but it was actually two hours. So, like, we were there in the spa for at least two and a bit hours, so well worth the money. I think we're just going to grab some food nearby, and then I'm going to have a difficult task of packing everything into our suitcase. Kimchi cheese pie first! And we got some shrimp, and also what did you get? 